Hello, this is Geo Techland, and today I'll be taking a look at some of my favorite Linux distros of the year. This list won't be in any particular order, but I'm going to be looking at this from Bleeding Edge and Gaming for newbies or beginners to Linux and to users that want something that's very lightweight, you know, for like an older PC or laptop. So let's check them out. If you like my content, you can subscribe to me on YouTube, Peertube, and you can follow me on Odyssey. Alright, so first up we have Zorin OS. Zorin is an OS that's very similar looking to Windows 10, and it's one of the nicer looking Linux themes. And so this is especially good if you're coming straight from Windows and you want a familiar environment then Zorin would probably be the number one I would recommend in that scenario. Then we have Linux Mint, which is based on Ubuntu. Linux Mint is also very stable. There's lots of out-of-the-box support for everything. And their Cinnamon desktop environment also has a familiar feel if you're coming straight from Windows. Then we have Ubuntu, which is another popular Linux distro. It's an OS that a lot of other OSs are based on just because of the stability and support. The layout may be a little bit different from what you see on Windows and Mac, but it's still very easy to get yourself familiar with and it has a very nice looking theme by default. If you're coming from a Mac OS environment, you'd probably want to check out Elementary OS. It has a very similar look and feel. This OS is designed to be very easy to use and it's very stable as it is a an Ubuntu based distro. And then we have Pop OS, which is also based on Ubuntu. It's also a very stable OS and it does seem to cater to power users a little bit more, especially if you want a good distro for gaming and for productivity and programming. They have a lot of uh, built in features. Their default layout might be a little bit different from what you may be familiar with on Windows and Mac. But if you want a distro that caters to the bleeding edge and you want to have the latest kernel or the latest graphics drivers, then you can check out Manjaro. Manjaro itself comes in many different flavors. There's many official desktop environments that it supports, and there's additional desktop environments created and supported by the community, especially if you're on the bleeding edge when it comes to gaming on Linux. And you can even install different kernels just depending on what your needs are. And here we have Solus, another rolling release distro. So you'll always get the latest graphics driver and Linux kernels. Has a lot of really good defaults, whether you're using Solus Budgie Edition or Solus Gnome Edition. And I think they have one of the better looking themes in the Linux world here. Now, if you don't fall under those categories, you're not a bleeding edge gamer or you don't need anything modern and fancy. If you have like an old PC or laptop, that probably wouldn't handle these newer feature-rich Linux distros. Then there's also some distros that you can use if you wanted um, if you wanted them to work smoothly on a lower end or older machine. So you have Exubuntu, which is based off Ubuntu and it has a very lightweight desktop environment while still giving you the freedom to customize. Then you also have Lubuntu, which works very similar and it's also meant toward older PCs or if you just want something that's lightweight. Then you also have Ubuntu Mate or Mate. Ubuntu Mate is based on Ubuntu, so you know you get that stability. But instead of using GNOME 3 as its desktop environment, it's actually using a fork of a previous version of GNOME, GNOME 2. So you'll get a familiar look and feel out of the box. The hardware requirements are not as heavy as other distros and it gives you so many options to configure and change your layout here. Then lastly, you have a Zorin version that, you know, it actually looks good despite being a light distro. You have an older machine and you want light distro, but you also want it to come with a nice looking theme. So there you have it. If you like this video, stay tuned and subscribe because I'll be releasing a future video on the pros and cons of using this OS and you know talk to you about what each distro here is doing good and what they're doing bad in my opinion at least and let me know in the comments below if you agree with my list is there a distro you feel like i may have missed or that should be added to this list let me know in the comments below 
And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I will see you all next time.